<laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Um, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a co-founder. Uh, my partner in crime is unable to be here today. He had a, an appointment to be at. Um, we just appreciate the opportunity to stand up here. Um, I have uh, two kids, two wonderful kids. Been married for three years. Uh, as Air Force veteran, I did eight years. Um, this company was started uh, in Vic SEO. It was kind of started as a side hustle. Um, we, we started the company off of an idea that worked in a different industry and it just kind of spurred into a word of mouth that, you know, company after company kept referring us into another. Um, uh, it's a little bit about what we are and how we got started. So without any further ado, I'll present a little bit about what we do so you can get it. Um, uh, one thing I'll, we, I'll lead off with saying, um, we're not uh, social media or Facebook. We just, uh, we're all about what we call end of funnel, high commercial intent. So, and we'll explain this a little bit. So a little education, uh, search engine results page, people call it a SERP. Um, just to break it down for most people, this is an older view of it, just so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Uh, top part, paid ads, CBC, everybody gets that. Everybody understands that uh, you, know, you can pay 50, 60, $100 if you want to to be at the top. Uh, the second section, which most people don't even know the name of, is called Google My Business. This is a map. This was created about six, seven years ago. Um, Google wanted to create a fairness um, among businesses competing for local services. And this is the section that we specialize in. We refer to it as the local three pack. Um, so from now on, anything I talk about will be in regards to our specialty, which is this section. Um, a lot of places do organic, um, which brings me to another reason why we started this company. Uh, we've come to find that a lot of companies will sell people on like a, a smoke and mirror campaign. They'll write content that is completely unrelated to what the person needs. For instance, the gentleman before me for Cheesecake, they might write an article on things to do in Ocala and they'll show that they've had 1,500 people arrive to their website and none of them convert. So we, uh, we wanted to get rid of that. I feel like it's a crime to people to do that. So we wanted to specialize in something that Google created that has become just uh, a mainstay for um, hair on fire decision making. I need it now. So a little bit about how we do our measurement. This is a third party tool. Uh, this is a third party tool that we use. Um, this measures our success. Uh, break this tool down. It's based off of your rank up at the top, uh, the business name. I've omitted all of that because we don't, uh, we take our privacy of our clients pretty serious. The, the search term, whatever it is that they want to rank for. And this geo grid here, I'm going to step over here and touch it because I can't stand standing. Um, these individual circles represent a latitude and longitude as if you were standing there with your phone doing a search. And if I was standing down here looking for, let's say, cheesecakes or looking for home builders, the business that this represents, this, the, each number correlates to the position that they rank on the three pack. First three are the ones that matter. Represents about 32% of all clicks on the first page. So wherever you see the red or the X's, that means they're not in the top 20 positions on the map. It means that they're invisible. So what a lot of these companies that we don't necessarily, that we, we fight against, um, so to speak, we like to show people, well, if they come up to your business and my business is located right here and they say, hey, look, you're ranking number two in this position. A normal business owner doesn't know I don't, I don't rank anywhere outside of that. I have no new customers that can find me. So that's just a little blurb on this. Um, again, we go into more if we, if we meet. So I wanna show you the next one. Uh, we call it local domination. Um, like I said, this was started as, an, as a, a pet project. It was just to test our IP, track what we could do. And this is the results from one of our clients. Um, note the date, October 7th um, to November 4th. Um, we took this client who was, well, we, we refer to it as just about ready to pop. So there's certain signals that you can get from Google when you look at the relevant, what we're calling the relevance geo grid. And it says, it teaches people, it teaches, uh, taught us that we say, okay, just a few modern modifications, some, uh, some of our IP injected into it, um, can yield results over there where they're number one everywhere. Um, what this does for them, it's not a bombardment of useless leads. These are people that have clicked on that GMB top spot and that's hair on fire making decision, I need your product. So one of the things we don't do, and a lot of people get this question and we get this all the time, there are three things that Google knows that people fake. Content, uh, photo uh, photographs, uh, videos, all of that, people will stream those, and reviews. You can pay companies right now in foreign countries to write 
bad reviews against your competitors and good reviews for you. So Google has gotten away since 2019. They, they indoctrinated a new um, algorithm that shifted the focus of where they're at um, that allows them to actually find what people are looking for for each business. So um, just to kind of wrap it all up, uh, our purpose, we're all about ROI. Uh, not every business we can help. Uh, we don't, uh, we're not going to charge a business if we can't. We'll meet. We do an audit. If it's something we can, if you can benefit from it, if not, um, then we'll just, you know, I will, we'll advise you on who we'd recommend doing your website and stuff too. Um, any questions? Right.